that stress and anxiety not only manifested in the parents, but the children picked up on it. Well, it looks like the weight of the pandemic is affecting even babies. A new study shows babies born during the pandemic have much lower cognitive and verbal skills. A local pediatrician says while this is very concerning, it doesn't have to be permanent. Spencer Blake is live in the newsroom. You've been talking with experts to see how parents can improve their child's earliest stages of development. Yeah, Nicole, those stages are so important. In, in this study of almost 700 babies born in 2020, the infants had an average IQ score that was 22 points lower than normal. Whether it was quarantining, working from home, or figuring out childcare, everyone has dealt with a lot during the pandemic their time was split and extra stress was added. Now that stress could be affecting the cognitive growth of babies. A Brown University study, which is awaiting peer review, says the decline in 2020 babies includes everything from verbal to motor skills. Babies born just one year earlier, however, didn't show anything out of the ordinary. The most likely hypothesis or the reason for this is because of the decreased parental interaction, increased stress, Pediatrician Ann Maiden Hope says many kids are coming in with speech delays, which could be tied to masks because babies haven't been able to see their parents' mouths move as much. The study also points to increased TV exposure for the babies and a lack of outdoor exercise as problems. These studies are, are not conclusive and more studies are in fact needed. And the good news is that children's brains are very malleable and adaptable. Dr. Gary Kirkulis agrees, pointing to a few things parents can do to help their children continue to develop properly. My advice to parents is really first, uh, the more talking, the more storytelling, the more simple questions that you can ask your children, the better. He also says making overly expressive faces while talking to your kiddos can help keep them on track. Even if they're not old enough to respond, they are listening, and that's where the development happens. Dr. Maiden Hope says a healthy diet can also help with that cognitive development. So some things to think about when you're having that interaction with your kids. Yeah, and all parents are like listening very intently. What are the warning signs? How can you know if your baby from 2020 is struggling? That's a good question. You can pay attention to their speech, really, because Dr. Kirkula says they should be able to say mama or dada by 12 months old, and then they should know about 50 words by the time they're two. Now, if your baby is falling behind, there are plenty of resources available. And of course, they say the earlier you get help, the better. So again, doesn't have to be permanent, Nicole. Yeah, I never thought about how much uh, masks might impede them get in the way, really right? reading your expressions. Interesting stuff. Spencer, thank you.